Okay guys, I'm going to show you something that might help you get the feel of this. Now it's brutally windy and I mean like crazy crazy windy. I've got a wedge here just going to hit some little wedge shots to give you the feeling. Going to wind it open and then come in and we're going to keep it there and then just fire it. So we'll just hit a few little wedges to get that feeling because you don't want to go hitting four irons and stuff uh, like I was. Just, just get a wedge and we're just going to hit a little knock down what we think is a full open face wedge shot. Now as much as I'm trying to wind that open more through the ball, the elastic effect is happening and, and it's coming back and coming in with the face just a little bit shut and I get that little draw. See that little draw back into the wind, look. And, th and that's feeling like the club face is wide open, reverse winding all the way. I mean that's just, just amazing. Feels like that. I just hit them a bit lower for you. Now that's that guys, that's, that's what I call tip back. Tip back unbelievable amount. Now the ball's going to go high into the wind, it's pretty hard to knock it down the wind because the wind just wants to pump it up in the air. But I'll try and hit this one a bit lower. That's a little sling drawer into the wind with the wedge. Hard to do that. Little sling drawer into the wind. But get that feeling, just 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 get a wedge, just try that. It's a great feeling. Just tried to trap that, really tried to trap that back into the wind. And that face was so open, yet it came in and closed up unbelievably. So the spring effect is amazing in the short clubs. That's just amazing, that's just over shut the club face. Okay guys, just try that. Just try it with the wedge. Here, we'll wind it over, wind over, then we'll... We'll see how far I can hit a wedge into this hurricane. Uh, we're just going to just hammer them. I mean, I don't practice wedges because I just think they're too easy to hit. So you never see me practicing with wedges. But just, you watch this. I'm just going to hammer this. That's as hard as I can hit it. Just a little tip over draw. It's gone about 90. That's as hard as I can hit it. Just trying to sling that back in there. Yeah, it's gone about a hundred, but I had to sling that. Okay guys, just just do that. Just have a have a go with the 
with the wedge and, and just feel that when you get to here you just do that. Hard to do. Might be too hard, but you know, don't mark up anything you're doing with channel lock. This is just stuff that I'm fiddling with. 